All right, welcome back everybody. Going to get the fuel pump and the water pump housing installed in this video. I have a correction to the water pump housing bolts that I'll point out when I get to there. But you can see the hole for the fuel pump is down there to the right of the distributor, kind of in the middle of the block. And uh, I'm going to put the gasket on here in a second. I've already got the gasket cinch on there, put it on on the bench. Simple installation, two bolts, that's all there is to it. It's a mechanical fuel pump that uh, has an arm coming out of it that rides on a lobe that's on the camshaft so it just pumps with every so many revolutions of the camshaft uh, one two to one four foot pounds is the torque on the fuel pump I was able to source an original AC fuel pump you can still get rebuild kits for those you can't get the original fuel pumps but you can get rebuild kits for them and I was able to uh, to rebuild this one and it, and it works just fine so uh, that's about it for the fuel pump not a whole lot to that now we're going to be moving on to the water pump housing so the water pump attachment bolts, you have three of them, and they're all three different sizes, they're all three different lengths. And the, tech, the manual doesn't specify which bolts go where, though it does specify that you have three different bolts. So it doesn't really help all that much if you were like me and didn't keep track when you took stuff apart uh, where the right bolts went. So essentially what I ended up doing was putting the bolts in and then measuring the clearance of how far, trying to bottom in the bot, trying to bottom them out. These are uh, blind bolt or blind holes here, so I tried to bottom them out and then measure the distance between the surface of the water pump um, machining and the the bottom of the head bolt. So I'll show you here real quick the difference in the lengths of, of the three bolts. So you can see here the difference in the lengths of the three bolts, I'm trying to hold them all kind of steady there. So that's pretty obvious. My original video on this discussed which bolts go into which spots for the water pump housing. There's three bolts here. You can barely see one here. Down here, there's another two that are under on this side. They're all three different lengths, and neither the tech manual nor the parts catalog really explain which bolts go to which hole and I believe in my original recording I gave the wrong information on that so what I'm going to do right now is undo the bolts one at a time and measure them out uh, it may still be wrong but I didn't get any leaks when I put the thing together so you know take this for what it's worth but you got one bolt here and then there's another bolt that you can just kind of barely see right there that where the um, generator adjusting arm bolts to and then another one, all oh, that's down in this other one down here, which you can't really see at all, is where the, the little clip goes, where the gas line and the vacuum line run through. But those, uh, I'm going to take, try to get those out, at least two of them out here, measure them up, and then come out with an answer for you here in a sec. So I got two of the three bolts out, the two top ones. The one on the left top there, right underneath the, uh, the smaller hose, was two and three quarter inches long. The one on the top right, which is kind of blocked, but which is what the generator bracket attaches to that was two and three eighths inches long and then the bottom one I couldn't get to it at least enough to be able to get it all back together so that one was something shorter than that I believe if I remember all the measurements correctly I'll edit in what the correct length is per the uh, per the tech manual so that's how I have it lined up it still may not be right but I've gotten good penetration and good torque on all the bolts and everything so at least I know it works so if anybody can find better documentation that that'd be great but I'd like to thank John Walsh who pointed this out to me so thanks a lot John for uh, for watching and paying attention and catching my mistake there and hopefully this uh, this goes back and and clears it up so now that we have that out of the way put the water pump housing on now got some gasket cinch on there you can tell I'm kind of making a mess again if you get this stuff on uh, your paint it will eat it if you let it sit there as it dries but if you get it wiped off pretty quick I didn't have a problem with it destroying the paint only after it dried did it get nasty coming with the gasket after I wipe this stuff off here in a little bit you'll see that the gasket is uh, is not a perfect fit by any means especially the upper left hand hole there that distance you can see it's kind of off I'll try to center it up as best I can 
but the gasket cinch does keep it sticky so you don't have to have like four hands to put this water pump on water pump housing on when uh, when you bring it in so I get it started with the long bolt first in the upper left hand corner there that's that two and three quarter inch bolt and uh, get it started with that check my bolt sizes for uh, for the one I'm gonna put in next now I'm pretty sure I'm putting in the incorrect bolt here that I talked about earlier in the video to, to fix that up but uh, but we know what the, what the real answer should be right now so I get those all in and uh, just a matter of getting them all tightened up and I kind of use a, a cross pattern here kind of get them snug up and I'll move to another one and I'll move to the next one so that I don't get it in there crooked and I get nice even pressure on that gasket All right, so now that that's tight, I'll come with the torque wrench here. This is torqued down to 1.8 to 2.0 foot-pounds. And again, I'll do a, uh, an alternating pattern here. All right, with that done, the water tube goes in, connects to the back of the water pump housing, and on the head, uses a head bolt. So you got to make sure you get that head bolt off and then get that torque back down. There's a little olive nut in there that goes into the back of the water pump housing and then just the fitting that screws down. It's just a compression fitting. The water tube just takes the water from the water pump and distributes it to the back, obviously, so that you can use it for the heater. So I'm just tightening that stud back up with the uh, breaker bar just to get it snug. And then I come in with the torque wrench for two to four, six foot pounds. Again, I didn't loosen anything other than that one, that one head bolt. And then tighten it up and get the olive nut compressed a little bit. You don't want to go real, real tight with this. Uh, when I left that motor running, I still had a little leak here that I'll have to take care of later. But otherwise, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching, liking it, and subscribing as always. And uh, you have a good night. Cheers.